At Atlanta Airport, hundreds of travelers in line were told to seek cover as an armed lady went on the attack, stabbing three people as she ransacked the South Terminal. Just before 5 o'clock on Wednesday, a passenger recorded video of police and airport workers attempting to reason with the woman as she yelled and wielded her knife erratically. Before heading to the screening area where she was confronted by officers, she had already stabbed a guy at the airport's West Crossover. Atlanta police released a statement saying that during the incident, the female suspect stabbed an adult female and then an APD lieutenant as he attempted to take her into custody. From behind the comparatively safe protection of a glass partition, some passengers watched the action unfold next to them in surprise. However, those holding up for security checks were told to sit on the ground in case her rucksack contained a bomb or a pistol. An airport security guard cautioned them, saying, it's very dynamic folks. We're going to get you off here as quickly as we can. I don't think you are in any immediate danger, she said. The employees presented it to them as a domestic incident, according to Sarah Najem, an editor with Border Belt Independent in North Carolina, who was standing in line. The police officer, who was apparently a 71-year-old retired person who had returned to active duty, was stabbed in the thigh and suffered a severed artery. Before being tackled and taken into custody by a second police officer after leaving a trail of blood across the booking hall, the female ticket clerk was also stabbed. According to Atlanta Police Sergeant John Chaffee, that stabbing had already happened when we did encounter her. There was a brief instant that occurred there. Although it doesn't seem like there's a relationship between her and them, we'll look into it. As they heard that she had been arrested and was now free to stand up, the passengers who were kneeling cheered. Police stated that they were unsure of the attack's purpose but anticipated learning it by the time they filed charges. The three patients were all brought to Grady Memorial Hospital last night where they were all conscious and well. About 40 minutes after the initial stabbing, Atlanta Airport issued an all-clear, and it is not believed that any flights were delayed. There are other exits at the airport that can be accessed, but the areas around the crime scenes are shut off, according to Sergeant Chaffee. Not all of the travelers were upbeat. Willie Anderson, a former offensive tackle for the Bengals, tweeted, it ain't safe even in Atlanta Airport. Keep your head swiveled. Sad incident that occurred before. I wish everyone well. I was over there, I said. My son was lying on the ground with the other people. They must take action in response to these lines.